Welcome to the Robotics Innovation Center of the German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence, in short, DFKI. With locations in Kaiserslautern, Saarbrücken, Bremen and a project office in Berlin. In 2006, the Robotics Innovation Center was founded as the then DFKI Laboratory and since 2009, Bremen is now the third DFKI location. Headed by the internationally respected expert, Professor Dr. Kirchner, application-oriented solutions for mobile and intelligent robot systems are developed. The focus of our work is system development. The development process ranges from rough drafts to fully functional prototypes. In the electronics lab, all steps from circuit design to the mounting and startup of the printed circuit boards can be carried out. Robot parts are manufactured out of plastic in a vacuum casting process. This method makes it possible to produce intelligent components consisting of various materials and directly integrated sensors. In the mechanics workshop, prototypes are assembled and smaller repairs are carried out. The workshop is equipped with all basic hardware for mechanical processing and in-house storage of standard parts and pre-products. With these tools, it's possible to produce a variety of materials to suit the needs of each individual project. At the Robotics Innovation Center Bremen, our specialists work hand in hand. Apart from computer scientists, we employ biologists, electrical engineers, mechatronics and mechanical engineers. In our well-equipped research facilities, extensive system and application tests for prototypes are carried out. The Robotics Innovation Center is divided into five research areas. The area underwater robotics is concerned with the development and realization of artificial intelligence in underwater systems. For the exploitation of natural resources, we design autonomous gripping and navigation for underwater vehicles. We research the development of biologically inspired robots which can react autonomously to external conditions. Self-evaluating systems react independently to previously analyzed sensor signals and sensors. These are tested in our underwater research facility. That is a water tank holding 20,000 liters, which can be dimmed to simulate the lighting situation in the deep sea. The aim of our research is to be able to use autonomous and remote operated underwater vehicles safely and reliably even in complex underwater conditions. At present, the DFKI Bremen developed AUV is the smallest completely autonomously acting AUV worldwide. Because of its undulating movement, the snake-like robot Mehen is able to explore among the reeds, in pipe systems and along shore areas without causing any damage. In the future, intelligent robots will advance extraterrestrial exploration. This includes systems on the basis of biologically inspired, innovative locomotion concepts for difficult to access and steep terrain, which are developed in the research area Space Robotics. The project Lunaris, in collaboration with OHB Systems and EADS Astrium, focuses on autonomous, cooperating systems for crater exploration. The Moon is in the center of this exploration scenario. In the Bremen-based Space Exploration Hall, we have an artificial lunar landscape where complex mission scenarios can be tested. The lighting conditions of extraterrestrial celestial bodies and their soil structure are realistically recreated, for example, to conduct locomotion experiments in steep crater slopes. 
The legged robot Scorpion is characterized by its biomimetic control concept, which allows very flexible running gaits, following the model of real scorpions. This is why Scorpion can move extremely well in crater landscapes like the Moon. Caesar can move on loose surfaces and in steep slopes thanks to its fiberglass foot and its innovative hybrid legged wheel design. The Aramis project also concentrates on locomotion in difficult terrain. The actuated claw of the robot is used to get a hold in steep inclinations. By means of a reflex-controlled balance behavior, the humanoid robot, Bin Hur, is able to keep its balance in spite of external disturbances. In the research area Search and Rescue and Security Robotics, wheeled, legged and aerial robots for indoor and outdoor applications are developed to support rescue and security teams. SentryBot Indoor provides autonomous navigation by means of a laser rangefinder and radar and infrared sensors for movement detection. On the robot test track at the Robotics Innovation Center in Bremen, robots can be tested in all weather conditions. The track offers a multitude of obstacles, including stairs, canyons, random stepping fields, trunks, and water. The security robot, Asgard, was developed especially for a rough environment, focusing on outdoor applications. It can be used for security and outdoor surveillance, as well as on disaster mitigation missions. To further support these systems, the aerial robot, Carlton, was developed for rapid exploration or surveillance of the target area. Apart from extraterrestrial missions, the legged robot Scorpion can be used for search and rescue operations. The research area Logistics, Production and Consumer deals with the development of systems which will improve handling and sequence control by using methods of artificial intelligence and innovative mechatronic concepts. This includes handling deformable piece goods. In the project Semantic Product Memory, SEMPROM, a mobile dual-arm robot was developed to automate these workflows. Eventually, the finished robot will enable flexible handling of piece goods of variable shapes in production and distribution. In order to ensure that the superior strength of the robot does not put the human at risk, it has to follow the user in an intelligent, cooperative security concept on the one hand, but on the other hand, it will have to be able to safely realize its full potential. Cognitive Robotics links all research areas. Brio is one of the projects conducted in the research area Cognitive Robotics. A remodeled Brio labyrinth is used to investigate cognitive processes with the help of EEG and fMRI. The iBot will make intuitive control of complex robot systems by a single operator across large distances possible. In this project, approaches of robotics, neuroscience and human-computer interaction are combined in an overall system. Aramis and his colleagues say goodbye. The advances in core technologies, material science, energy storage, microsystem technology and artificial intelligence allow the construction of more and more complex systems. Right now, in spite of their flexibility and mobility, they are only being applied in particular niches. But in the near future, they will be taking over more and more tasks. <laughs>